and welcome to this edition of Introduction to Store Fusion by QLogic. My name is Todd Owens. I'm a member of the OEM technical marketing team here at QLogic, and I want to walk you through a new feature that is part of what we call Store Fusion. As a reminder, Store Fusion is a co developed set of functions from Brocade and QLogic that make the SAN smarter and easier to manage than ever before. As of today, there are 10 specific features that make up Store Fusion. And all 10 are implemented in QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel adapters and Brocade Gen 5 16 gig switches and directors. If you want your SAN to be smarter, faster, and easier to manage, then you need to upgrade to Gen 5 16 gig fiber channel today. In this session, we're going to focus on one of the features in the Enhanced Diagnostic category. These are the 10 specific technology enhancements implemented with the QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel Adapters and Brocade Gen 5 Fiber Channel Infrastructure. We are going to focus on Dport and integration with Brocade ClearLink Diagnostics in this session. Let's start by looking again at the customer problem. So Carl works on Sarah's SAN administration team. Uh, the team has been charged with uh, deploying a new SAN and has used the Brocade Gen 5 16 gig Fiber Channel switches and QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel Adapters in their SAN design. The team has utilized Fabric Assign Worldwide Name and Fabric Bootlun to pre-configure the entire SAN environment as they wait for the servers to arrive. Carl's in charge of the initial bring up once the servers get there and he wants to make sure things go as smooth as possible and is looking for a way to validate all the SAN connections before turning on the applications. What if Carl could run a simple test to verify all those SAN connections? Well, that's what Brocade ClearLink technology and QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel Adapter support for Dport uh, provide. Carl can run diagnostics or Dport tests on each link to verify the integrity of that connection that he is going to be utilizing in the SAN. Let's take a look at what's involved. It's pretty simple. What Carl needs to do is to dial into the switch as an administrator in the CLI. Then he can take a look at using the switch show command to see what's connected to his environment. From there, he can enable Dport, and Dport requires three things, three steps. The first one is you gotta disable the port, uh, reconfigure it as a Dport uh, connection, and then re-enable that, uh, that connection. So now you have a live Dport connection. Once you enable that uh, Dport, it's always a good thing to use the switch show command to verify that you're in fact the proper mode in this case, you can see here in this screenshot, we are in Dport. And then you use the Dport test command in the CLI to actually run the uh, Dport test. So let's give that a try. Okay, so here we are on our server and we're at the uh, switch login console. Let's go ahead and log in. We're logged in and let's take a look at what we have. And you can see here we have three different ports connected. We're going to operate here on port nine. So let's disable the port. Now let's change it to a diagnostic port. And let's re-enable the port. I'll do a switch show again to verify that we are actually in deep port mode and in fact we are. Let's go ahead and run the diagnostic uh, test. And there are test results. So we can see that the electrical loopback test passed, the optical loopback test passed. Uh, we had a latency of 136 nanoseconds and our cable is estimated to be about one meter in length. And of course, all of that can be scripted and you can run that across multiple different ports. Uh, once you have completed, remember you wanna convert uh, back to a standard port and so you reverse the steps and those are shown here. You're gonna to need to disable the port, turn off the diagnostics D port, and then re-enable the port, and then you'll be back online connected to your SAN. So 
So in summary, Deport and Brocade ClearLink provide you the ability to do a pre-flight check of a sand fabric before you put it into production. Now, this can also be very beneficial in reducing the amount of time spent troubleshooting if you've got issues in your production environment as well. Uh, to enable this functionality, uh, it does require QLogic Enhanced Gen 5 Fiber Channel HBAs and Brocade Gen 5 Fiber Channel switches with Fabric Vision licenses enabled. And we executed this demonstration using the Brocade CLI. This can be scripted using scripting tools, so you can run this in an automated fashion across all your environment. Well, that's it for this edition of Store Fusion Introduction by QLogic. I want to thank you for your time and your attention, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.